When we are always experiencing the light, if we were in a reality where we only experienced light, we would just think that that is what we are and that is how things go. That is how things flow. That is how reality is naturally in tune with itself. So when we come and we, when we come here and we experience darkness, not knowing, confusion, all the things that you want to label as negative and bad and uncomforting, we need to experience that so then we have a full scope of everything, not everything because it's still infinite and our bo I feel like our body mind is not capable of experiencing it all. But basically in this reality, this is all. So when we have the capacity to experience this duality of life, we are forced to put ourselves in the position to not identify with it. Because if we were in a reality with only darkness or only light, we wouldn't really have the op well, we could, we could not identify with it, I suppose. But the two of them together makes it this epic challenge to kill your ego, surrender your ego. When I affirm, I say, I surrender the ego, I surrender to the universe. Because that's accepting the infinite version of yourself. So yeah, that's just what I really had to say. So you just you just have to you have to accept all that comes to your present moment because whatever is in your present moment is there for you to shape yourself into the person that you want to be. You have all the resources that you need. I have all the resources that we need. Everyone comes with everything that they ever needed. We we are the portal to everything that we've ever needed. So yeah. And if you were only living in a light world, well, you would think that that is just the world bringing it to you and not yourself, probably, maybe. I'm just throwing ideas out there. I don't know everything, but yeah. Yeah. Whenever a memory that is unpleasant or in any sort, in any category that matters, when that memory comes up, what you're supposed to say, what I say, is I forgive myself, I forgive others. And I say that repeatedly for, for a couple times until I feel I don't have to. And then I just sit with that feeling that my intention is powerful. You are an unconquerable force. Everyone is. Nature is. Nature is perfect. It's designed perfectly. See how the leaves just fall and everything is so even? And you know what, these leaves are gonna get so much nutrients to the soil. N nature is perfect, it's, it's everlasting. You know when like a whole entire forest burned down? That, when the forest burned down, all the ashes, that gives so much like nutrients to the ground that it allows for new species to grow there. And just like prettier flowers and just like more abundance, so. Death, the past, killing, surrendering your ego, it's not a scary thing, it's a chance for new growth.